Dr. Sella here, and there's really three types of triple options you can run. The, how the triple option works is you're going to read the C-gap player and the D-gap player. That's what makes it a triple option. You're reading the C-gap defender and the D-gap defender. Basically, it's the B-back's ball, and if the C-gap defender takes the B-back, the quarterback replaces the C-gap defender and scores. And then if the D-gap defender takes him, he stops his feet and flicks the ball to the A-back coming around. The whole goal is to make sure you have a three-on-two. First the C-gap defender and the D-gap defender. Now, other things you can do too is you can, well, in the triple case, you double-team the B-gap defender. Now, what happens here is, You've got a B-gap defender, a C-gap defender, and a D-gap defender. If you want to read the B and C-gap defender, that means you have to block the D-gap defender. This is what's called midline triple option. So the quarterback will take the snap, jump back, point the ball. If the B-gap defender takes the B-back, who's running a straight line, quarterback replaces the B-gap defender and scores. If the C-gap defender takes the quarterback, the quarterback stops his feet and flicks the ball to the A-back coming around. So you read the B and C gap defender and you block the D gap defender. This diagram, you block the B gap defender, but you read the C and D gap defender. There's another midline triple variation here too, where you can read the B and D gap defender, but block the C gap defender. Now for this, you get into double flex. You can get into heavy as well. As long as you have a third man on the surface with an A back behind the tackle or behind the heavy tackle. So you can read the B gap defender. And what happens is the quarterback will take the snap, jump in the backside A gap, point the ball, and it's the B back's ball. And if the B gap defender takes the B back, quarterback replaces him and scores. But if the D gap defender can take the quarterback, which is kind of tough, tougher to do. But if he can take the quarterback, the quarterback stops his feet and flicks the ball. So the receiver crushes the C-gap defender, and the quarterback has the B and D-gap defender. So there's three ways to run triple option. This is the most common and proven to be the most effective by far, is you block the B-gap defender and you read the C and D-gap defender. You can block the D-gap defender but read the B and C-gap defender, or you can compress the formation and bring a third guy into the surface, crush the C-gap defender, and read the B and D-gap defender. Those are the three ways to do it. All right, coaches, I have a big announcement that's coming real soon. Real soon. It's going to change the whole Triple Option Football Academy and make it much better at a totally different level. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested, interested in becoming a client, call me, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. Heck, I might even tell you if you call me. Give me a call. See you in the next video. We'll talk then.